what does it really mean to follow God? Like as I stand here today, I'm reminded of the first time my children ever got an opportunity to be in snow. And when we walked outside in the snow, they were very fearful in terms of the steps that they would take. And what I did was I walked in front of them and I took steps and I said to them, instead of creating your own footprints, walk in the footprints that I've already made. Hi, DC. So I just want to say, you know, I'm sincerely sorry for your loss. You know, and I just want to know, like, you know, we've watched you be so strong. Right. How are you holding up? Like, what's going I mean, on? You're still working, obviously. Yeah, you know, I'm being with my brothers, you know, great love, great energy. You know, God is the greatest. He's he's granted me the strength to keep going. You feel what I'm saying? And I got to take care of my baby, you know? I just and that. That's just the, that's the key to life. You just got to keep going, stay prayed up, and never let the tragedies and the stuff that you're going through, you know, bring you down. I mean, we human, we emotional. I mean, that's the, that's the point. I that's going to happen. People want to see me cry. I'm just not going to record myself crying and show you I'm crying. Right. I cry all the time. You right. feel what I'm saying? So, but I'd rather show positivity and let people know that God is the greatest. I like your I want to continue to show that God is keeping me uplifted and he keep granting me the strength. And that's the message that I want to continue to put out there in the world because there's a lot of stuff out there and they want to desensitize I'm a blaspheming sinner, but I'm ready to put that all behind me because Jesus is the truth and the light. The only objective truth in this world. It is an honor to be baptized by you. I wanted my family to be here, you know, my girlfriend's in Michigan, my dad's in Abbotsford, but they're going to watch this, it's going to be on film, and um, I've been wanting this my whole life. why Christianity is the most hated religion in the world. It seems like there's this tolerance for different belief systems, but then when it comes to Christianity, our God is mocked, made fun of, and rejected. Because I love Jesus. I want you to understand that God is real. Without God, there is no us. I'm telling you, he has done things in amazing ways, man. I'm telling you, and I'm just, I'm just blessed. So that being said, you know who did? God did. Be a reflection of God's love and his forgiveness. I don't want to jam it down anybody's throat, yeah. but I do not deny my faith. That's, that's an even bigger sin. You know, it's not popular in my uh, industry, but you know, I cannot deny my faith. I don't know why we want to take the hardest road. I don't know why the man above gives me the hardest road, but it's nothing the man above. Don't put you in situations that you can't handle. If you're telling me that there is a free per, there is a free being, a free, body, a free parent, a free love, a free heart out there in the universe that will help me not feel alone. Man, come on. How many gods do you have? Just just one, just one. So no, you're right. We should only worship God. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's okay. That's not, I don't break that. We worship only God. Okay, then. So who's Jesus? Jesus is the revelation of the invisible God. So is Jesus a man? Absolutely. So he's not God. He's the rev like I just said, he's the revelation or image of the invisible God. But he's not God, correct? He's the one who revealed God to us. He's not God the Father. We don't believe that he's God the Father. We believe that he is a man okay, called the Messiah, called the Son of God, that reveals the invisible God. And because he perfectly reveals the invisible God, he is God with us. Is he God or is he not God? He's the Word of God who reveals God. So, you know, you know I'm, I'm going to ask you something. Can I, can I show you something? You worship I worship only God. No, no I'm going to show you. Okay, he worships only God. Right. Can I, can I ask you something? Can I, wait, why are you running away? I, you, you said you wouldn't run away. I didn't run away from you, so why are you running away from me? Can I, uh, it's, uh, okay, so you, why, why do people run away from the truth? They don't want to hear the fullness of truth. You don't want to hear the fullness. Hey, listen, let me just finish what I got to say. I listen to you. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? It depends. It depends. I, okay, look. You see me? 
I just took a picture of me. Is that me? How is that me? That's a picture of you. This is a picture of me? Yes. But is it me? It's a picture of you. But is it me? Yes, it is you. But this one can't move. What's the point? It's a still picture of you. So it's 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 me, but it's not me. It's a still picture of you. But this doesn't can't eat, can it? Can this eat? You can make a video of you. You can make a picture of you. You can draw. Good, good. So so Jesus is a picture of God. Yes, he's a picture, and and it's distinct from God. It's not God, but yet he's revealing God. This reveals me. Where is God without us? Still living just fine, thank you. He doesn't need me or you. Where is he living? In heaven. We already went over that. Another dimension. Where is heaven? Another dimension. Oh, so God's another dimension. Yes, God's in another dimension. God is not limited to space and time. You know he is outside dimension? of space and time. You know about this dimension better than I do? No, I've never been in another dimension. Never. So how can you say there's a God? How can I say there's a God? If you, if you don't know anything about the dimension. Because it's real clear from the order and design in this universe that there's got to be a designer. It's real clear that this universe has a beginning. If this universe has a beginning, it's got to have a cause. There's got to be an uncaused cause, otherwise there would be an infinite regress, which is illogical. So therefore, the best explanation of an uncaused cause who caused the universe is a thinking mind, an intelligent designer. That's where, where you where, start in your understanding of who God is, intelligent he, designer. Where did the intelligent designer come from? He's eternal. Who designed the uncaused intelligent designer? cause, eternal. Okay. No beginning, therefore he does not need to have a cause. See, if you don't have a beginning, you don't have to have a cause. But if you got a beginning, you got to have a cause. If you are a mocker, you alone will suffer. Do not be surprised, my brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. Somebody at their lowest moment right now watching this video, what do you say to them? There's only one way, one direction. If you're at the bottom, there's only one way, but you got to look up. And when you look up, there's somebody there waiting for you. His name is G-O-D. Mm -hmm. He's there with a hand, reaching out, waiting for you to take control of your life. Against all odds, against all odds, I don't know why we want to take the hardest road. I don't know why the man above gives me the hardest road, but it's nothing the man above don't put you in situations that you can't handle. And I just kept that same positive attitude, like, instead of saying, why me? They're saying, this is what he want me to do. God is great. Is it that simple? God is great. Don't get no simpler than that, bro. Did you know that? I mean, I'm, I'm, everybody knows that, but the way you know it now, did you know it before that incident took place? You can know it all you want, but until you got to pick up that cross that you can't carry, and he picks it up for you and carries you and the cross, then you know because I learned one very important lesson. Your relationship with God is like that of a captain and a crew member. Mm -hmm. One rows, the other one steers. But it's very interesting because many times in our life we want to get confident and cocky and arrogant and God says, I steer but I do not row. Mm -hmm. We need to put in the work and God will guide. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 
blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. There was a Bible verse that scared me more than any. It was, many will come to God and say, have I not prophesied in your name? Have I not casted out demons in your name? Have I not done this and this and this? And God looks at these people that did his work and says, be away from me. I never knew you. Forever. He goes, because they came with a list of what they did. And if we're going to measure my worth of going into heaven off of what I've done, it's not going to cut it. What makes it worthy for you to come in? It's the answer is he died for my. Who is Jesus? We can't escape him. We try to run from him, but there he is. Jesus is my love. Jesus is my adoration. Jesus is my worship. Jesus is my sweetheart. Now, first off, I want to thank God because that's who I look up to. He's graced my life with opportunities that I know are not of my hand or any other human hand. Yes, I have racist friends. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no. And what do you think I say to my racist friends, guys? You shouldn't be friends with them. Right? Oh, I see. So because you're racist, we can't be friends. Yes. Are you Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. No, you guys are part of a cancel culture that oh. doesn't understand grace and forgiveness. I have friends who have been sexist, who are racist, who are homophobic. I have skinhead friends. I have atheist friends. I have agnostic friends. I have friends who have date rape. I have friends who have done all types of evil. And I plead with them. I love you, I'm concerned about you, please come to Christ and allow Christ to change your life. And I don't look into the face of a white racist and say, you're a piece of dirt and I don't want to be with you. No, I plead with them. No, I shouldn't. Jesus never treated anybody that way. That's, that's contradictory. No, it's not. God would not forgive that. No, it's not contradictory. Let me explain, it's a great question. That's not Man, do you think I've ever seen Good, you're right, you're, you made a great point. Do you think I've ever sinned? Do you think I've ever done evil? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then why should Joshua be my friend? If I've done evil, why should Joshua be my friend in your cancel culture? Because I've done evil. You see, Jesus Christ contradicts cancel culture. Jesus Christ says you're all sinners. And now you better learn to love each other. You better learn to forgive each other. You better learn to accept each other. And so I love you and you. All right, do you believe in Jesus? No. You don't? No. You know that... I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in God. That he's God. You don't believe he's God? No. Have you looked in the historicity of, of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus? Yeah. yeah. You have? Mm -hmm. So you know that there's 25,000 ancient manuscripts that line up within 99% accuracy of one another? No. Did you know that all of the disciples died brutal and horrible deaths? No, that's you know, not true. To, to, yeah, no, they did. It you know, about Jesus. no, because they said they, they they were saying, you know, Jesus is Lord. He rose from the dead, and I'm going to die for that. You know, I How believe that to death. Jesus and Lazarus. Do you know Jesus personally? Yes, I do. Really? Yes, he lives in my heart. Uh, well, What's he told he like? me to come preach the gospel here, and there's no coincidence where? to preach to What's preach to like? you. Oh, Mark 16:15, preach the gospel to every creature. Yes, did Jesus yeah. write that? Yeah, he did write that. His Holy Spirit, yes. So I, I just wanted, I just want to tell you. Oh yeah, you know they all say the same thing. It's like saying "Hola" means hi and hello. But I want to tell you that Jesus loves you. You know, I, I know you're kicking me out. Yeah, no, but really, really seek after His face. He doesn't want you to go to hell. You know, if you, if you die in disbelief, you're gonna go to hell. But He wants you to go to heaven, sir. All right, you guys, have a good one. God bless you, man.